That was definitely a rumble I was not mad at at all. But what was I mad at this week? What got you salty? I was mad at, at, was mad at Top Flight and my boy Seidel versus oh, yeah. Private yes. oh. and Matt Hardy. <sighs> hey, and like I said, there's the young one. guys trying to get their shit in, man. You got to wrangle them in sometimes. <laughs> Talk to me, Rob. Talk to me. <laughs> that, that was a uh, that was quite a few botches in that match. Oh, yeah, it's, oh. it's just young guy jitters, man. It's just young guy jitters. I mean, th- these guys got plucked fresh from the indies and everything, and now they on TV in front of people and everything. It's just jitters. I mean, it happens to the best of them. Shit, Jericho botched the same damn night, and he a thirty that plus years veteran. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was a lion nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the cub salt. It wasn't a lion yet. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, that shit looked like baby Simba out there. <laughs> old school, you Yo, heating wait, up down there. What's wait, up? Wait, wait, Talk let, to let me, me old with, school. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Let, me up. My, let me fuck with your minds real quick. <laughs> let me fuck with your minds real quick. Do y'all realize, since we brought up lions, do y'all realize? The hyenas don't eat lions. I know where you're going. I seen the same information. I was gonna bring uh, that up too, but you got it. it bring, was, yeah, yeah. It was on IG this week on Twitter. Yo, Scar ate Mufasa. B Scar is seen with the skull of a lion. Hyenas do not eat lions, but lions eat other lions. Scar yeah. ate Mufasa. Why are you bro? lying? Why are you lying for him? Why are you lying? I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> And the car's a bigger heel than we thought. Bro. Thank you for that <laughs> useless yeah. piece of information. I'll, 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 terrible, I'll, I'll, terrible, I'll to terrible. I'm gonna level up your useless piece of information right now. Please, All right, here, let me blow your mind. I right, do you know that when hyenas give birth, they usually have to rip their clitorises to do so? Ugh. Yeah. I Jesus that. Christ, when you I, have, hey, and why are you gonna lay that up when, 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 because you know, there's a certain population. That when the clitoris rips during birth, they 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 can't do nothing about it. There, there's yeah. no there's no medicine for that. They call hyenas, yo. But here's something oh that God. you can do about it, right? What you can do is not botch like a motherfucker on this match. All right, I want to talk about Top Flight real quick because they're they're a young group. They are they they crash like, and burn. Between the two of them, they're like 39 years old, which is insane <laughs> to think about. Right, I think one of them was nineteen, one of them was twenty, right? Some shit like that. No, I don't even think. I think it's the other way around. Either All right, eighteen, nineteen, eighteen, nineteen. Jesus, yo, so like, they can't even drink, and the boys are out here doing work. All right, mm-hmm. they, they, yo, shit, you doing your thing, kid? Like, yo, I can't do half that shit. When I get up in the morning, I'll crack my back every time. That shit hurts like a motherfucker. <laughs> you think I'm gonna be flipping like that? I will give you credit. There is talent in what you do, and you're only gonna get better. The two yeah, of you yeah. guys is going to be yeah. phenomenal. I believe it. All that being said, all right, here we are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. No, I say that to say this. <laughs> I say that to say this. Right, let's, let's just say, right, if you were a quarterback and you do a kick, all right, you don't to talk about that shit on sports. Hit, hit the Shout button. Shout out to Tom Brady. Shout out hit to Tom button. Brady. <laughs> Adam. And now the assist as Darius Martin goes through. Over here. No, not the legal man, Matt Seidel. Oh! Does it really matter? Looks the far left. So let's, let's break that down real quick. Right? Let me, let me just What's that movie where he, the guy carries her? What's that? Oh, Dirty what dancing. Thank you very much. Dirty dancing. dancing. This is so, dirty dancing ass okay. shit. The time of my life. <laughs> I think I watched the long dirty dancing. Before. It was more dirty stuff than dancing than what I watched. So we got an assisted monkey flip here. Yeah, we got, shut up, JP. Your voice sounds like garbage. It's awful. So, like, a classic case to get your shit in. Right, we got this assisted monkey flip, right? I guess that was the point, but either he landed too short or too tall or what. But that mm. I'm pretty sure. Hey, that that's not DDP yoga. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> DDP yoga. <laughs> I hope he's good. 
that shit look like it sucked. But I watch a lot of ridiculousness because that's all that's on MTV, and I see this a lot. And that shit is hilarious. Yo, you know, you know how know you know how you know he's not good. He went for the pin, bro. He went for the pin. <laughs> well, he brung his bell, man. He, he Listen, what, like, once oh, you shit. Canadian destroy yourself, that's what you do. Yo, that's the protocol right there. Look, huh? Como? <laughs> que no? oh, que me mueva. Oh, no, yeah, my boy. Yo, bro. I was like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Shit. Yo. Get out of here. Let me save you. <laughs> the best part of all of this. dirty dick. The Hold my beard, kid. Is that JR is just like. He didn't know what to say. Ah, uh, he didn't. Fuck he didn't. Because JR's tired of it. Well, it's, not, it's not that he didn't know what to say. Because what he said would have got him in trouble backstage. Because oh, he was about to yeah. rip that ass. And then he was just like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't, he, yeah. He calls it a runaway train. It, it was. Yeah, it it yeah. was. At the, after that, to close the match, um, who is it? Marquand? Um, um, what's his name? Not not Isaiah, the other one from Private Party. Yeah. Mark, I think it's Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn. He Who has, was our impact this week as well. The, yeah, number one contenders and all that. He 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 does the swimming start foot catches the top rope on his way down. Uh, luckily, yeah. yo, he does nothing happens, and even at that, he's just like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Jr. finishes like, yo, this is wild. Yo, <laughs> yeah, they, he's like, oh, yo, there are some nights that are just that. You know what I mean? Like when everything goes wrong. I mean, yeah. you've seen in sports, you've seen the best of teams. That there's just some nights that nothing could go your way. And I think that was what that night was. That's what yesterday was. Not you know? everything. If you want to blame every, somebody, not blame us Impact. Because Impact took all the juice from AEW. Impact took all the juice. You had mm-hmm. the talent going over. The AEW, yo, took all the juice. And Layla Hurst, talk to them, Vic. Oh, Layla Hurst put in work, man. Okay. So who was it? Um... Uh, Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford. Who they I met. Like they're not strangers. They, they battled it out. They banged out. Uh, what was their match? The old school you told Three me. years ago to the date. Yep. TZW. Oh, wow. Like CZW. JP Savage said. It, it was Layla's first big match. And, you know, to now do it on the national level. Yeah, yeah. Pretty fucking That's awesome, what right? You could have hey, done Penelope on. Ford, though. I can tell you that. What okay. happened? I just, you could have did better without Penelope Ford. Oh, oh, yeah. oh wow. and, and you know what? You know Wasn't what? Fuck that... Miro, bro. Because <laughs> yo, she had a phenomenal match, and then he said, "Get off the ring," and squashed shit out of everything. Uh, I don't know. I think she got. Though. She kind of fucked up and stayed in the ring too long. Now, after that, now I understand the Bobby Lashley angle. Now I understand it. But uh, <laughs> speaking of Layla Hirsch. Isn't she a, a, a shooting the ish alumni? Officially, as of last night, a shooting the ish alum Layla Hirsch sits down with the bad guys, ladies and gentlemen. Don't miss it. It's streaming now on YouTube. Check it out, yo. Shooting the ish when when Lydia. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. That, that springboard on the outside, bro. Shit. <laughs> I was not expecting yeah, that shit. I, 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 I thought. I thought she fucked up. <laughs> and then, oh, wait, no, she did it. <laughs> it was like, oh, she went too far. <laughs> oh, no, she did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Go, We're good. Go, go. But, but guys, but uh, guys, you know who went too far? You know who went too far? Apparently us. Apparently us. What do we do now? Because by pointing out that there was this botch, we, we brought all the stands out. Ooh. <laughs> All of them, their, their, their emotional uh, cycles had synced. <laughs> it was that time of the month. Maybe because oh. of, of the other events of the day, they got really emotional. And, oh. and everyone was butthurt. Like, 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 like Tony Khan was doing them real hard. And we interrupted it. <laughs> like if they get in, they're on payroll or some shit. It was like, insane. I've never tweet, seen anybody tweet out a quarterback throwing an interception that didn't get it to do criticism. I never saw a fumble that didn't get shat on in some degree. I didn't see a missed <laughs> ball in the outfield get chopped up and dissected on Sports Center. Come on now. I, an errant pass in an NBA game hasn't been. How many times have we shat on LeBron just for fucking step? Like being a centimeter off. Like, let's be real. Right? I'm with you, but all that shit is scripted. 
So, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> wrestling is real, damn it. Can get it. Point. Everybody can get it. And if you might everybody point, can get stop it. Stop landing on your head, kid. It's gonna hurt a long time. All right. <laughs> there was about that shit. Let's move the fuck on. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, Mister. If you right though. If you are a professional, if you're a sports entertainer, right? If you are in the main limelight, you're open for criticism. Yeah. It is what it is. And you're held uh, to and, a standard as well because you absolutely. are skilled absolutely. and professional enough to be on a national stage doing what you do. You know what? I have some good news for Top Flight. Great news. You know what that news is? This is uh, what have you done for me lately business. So if they come out the next time and fucking show out, we won't be talking about this shit no more. Yeah. So the challenge is up I to y'all. Are y'all going to let this criticism help you build growth? Are you going to take it back as feedback? Or are yeah. you going to whimper like a little bitch in the corner and, and quit your dreams? Like, figure it out. Yeah. That, right. that, that's the best way to put it. And I don't want to hear anybody like simping on wrestling companies. Oh, if, if WWE did this shit, oh, oh, mom, I'll be right there. I don't want to hear that. I right? Real talk. Like, everybody... Everybody can get it. WWE can do this shit too. All right, we've seen green, and we go right after them as well. Especially oh, now, because I, 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 I think right. every wrestling podcast that I listen to, WWE is always the topic of conversation, and it's never positively. <laughs> <laughs> you know, definitely not. So, my question to you, good sir, is: Does NX is NXT included in that narrative? Um. I don't know. Wow. It, it just depends because as far as me personally with NXT as is, as current, I catch it when I catch it. You know, I'm not okay. sitting there, you know, with bated breath waiting week to week. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Nah, I ain't doing that shit. AEW <laughs> I am on the other hand because it's new. You know, it's something that hasn't been around for a long time and, you know, I'm just interested to see what happens next. Regardless of, of the storylines, the players in it is just something new. WWE is there. It's been there before I was born. It's been there through all of my life. <laughs> and it's still here, and it's probably going to be there with my grandkids, maybe. But I don't know about this other stuff. That's why it's intriguing me more. It's something different. It's something new. It's a shiny new toy. We already know how that go. You get it? You open it out the package. They're like, oh, this is cool. But right. it hadn't got to that stage to where it's like, Damn, this was cool a little while ago. Let me go and put this in the corner and try to find something new. Because okay. I don't know. I because I, I look at WWE as like the start of my fandom, but all these other companies is just like reigniting the spark that I have for the sport of professional wrestling. Because 2014 was the first time that I ever went to an independent show, a non-WWE mm. independent mm. show. And that's mm. when I first seen Jordan Grace. And I was like, who the hell is this? She's going to be big one day. Mm -hmm. Here she is on Delicious. Impact, former Ooh, champion and all kind of stuff oh, yeah. like that. And it, that felt good to me because I saw her way back in 2014 when she was like, what, 18, 19 years old wrestling in a freaking mm -hmm. elementary school gym, you know, it's and crazy. then just learning about New Japan. And we got to thank uh, our wrestling God and CEO, Jeff Jarrett, for brokering that deal to bring New Japan to so many American fans. <laughs> and <laughs> You know, it's just WWE is in corporation for WWE. I don't foresee them, you know, benefiting professional wrestling as a whole. That's why you have so many other companies doing what they're doing right now, like AEW and Impact, trying to come to some kind of agreement and accord to big up professional wrestling outside of WWE. Whenever you see WWE reaching their hand out to another company, it's for the buyout. That's yeah. all it is. Big it's just to build yeah. the WWE infrastructure to make their pipeline better to them, to the Raw, to SmackDown, and possibly NXT. But and when you see AEW doing Network. that, yeah, when you see AEW doing that, it's for the betterment of professional wrestling as a whole. And I firmly mm -hmm. believe that. And I'm excited to see that part of professional wrestling. You know, WWE, you get what you get. AEW, Impact, all these other companies, that's fresh. It's exciting. It's new. You don't know what the fuck is going to happen. And, and they can that's do what I'm here whatever for. they want. Whatever yeah. they want. And that's, that's the freedom. Oh!